Day four, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, whipped out the shorts today. I broke them out yesterday. Oh, and the thin shirt. You got your summer shirt on. I needed air. Hey, Augie. What you doing, buddy? left hopefully if everything goes as planned uh, we're over here at Cole's place plant behind his house uh, this place is right here um, we're over here we caught grandpa's plant some champion seeds we come over here we got our champion 2631 EN we're plant some two sixes and some two eights over here as you can see here we got our numbers we'll scroll out see where we planted the two sixes and then you can see where we planted the two eights so when you put this in the combine it also track your varieties for you so then you can uh, see which varieties do better than others and kind of track what you're planting I mean tra track what you're picking so then you can decide oh I don't like that seed it didn't do good it's failed for us for the last three years let's switch to a new number so it's pretty sweet we've got all the row cleaners our downforce is working Got the LSWs rolling on the ground. Got a smooth ride out here. Worked under our windmill. Got some shadow going on. Look at that blade move. That thing's moving. Shoot, we did have a camera. Cameras. But my dog chewed the cord off, so. You can't hardly punish him when he looks so cute. By the way, the best thing I've ever done is put carpet in here. And uh, hey, you can lay anywhere on this. To lay here. Kind of show you guys the all the row shutoffs here. So you have 25, 24 row shutoffs. Each row is individual. I need to get this seed tender working for me. Cooper is in different fields. He needs the big tender. I need to get this little one. Cole ordered a new belt for it the other day. So I'm going to see if I can get that put on quick. Oh! I remember how to run this thing. Oh. I talked to Cole. It don't sound like this is correct, but it's the only way it's staying on. Oh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe. Ah, son of a gun. One hilt left. Oh, where is it? We're going to go with it. And let's just hope. It's, maybe it's on right and a misunderstanding coal or something, too. We got. Four boxes we can get on this tender. Holy pack of deer. There's a bunch of them up there. <laughs> Sorry guys. Oop, better stay out of the field. What in the heck? Tell you what, you put us under pressure, that's when our efficiency really kicks in. I've got 230 acres done in the last 10 hours in a machine that can do 80 acres an hour. And, uh, yeah. Went to a new field, was going along the fence. Had my uh, boundary shifted one foot three inches in. Somehow I managed to still nick a telephone pole. So I must have moved last year. But when we hit it, come in here. We just nicked it too. Um, come in here. Nothing bad, but we had a hairline crack. Right, you can kind of see it right there. So we're grinding it out. I'm going to throw some new weld on it and get back in the field. Not hard, just time consuming and just a waste of time. It's got no hydraulic oil, I don't know. I guess it needed a potty break or something. Just got a call from Cooper a little bit ago. His good buddy Nate is running our tractor here. And he decided he wanted to take a break, so he maybe blew a hydraulic hose or something out here. Hopefully not a bad one. 
I'm just, I'm kind of puzzled there ain't a stream of oil. We're not sure there's not oil all over, but we are seeing a fitting up underneath the tractor for the power steering. It looks a little bit shiny around there. So we're gonna go home and get 10, 15 gallons of oil, pour it in there, see if it lets us see where it's dripping out at least. If it's slow, I'd rather get it home in the shop, but we're gonna see what it looks like. Did I mention that I also accidentally pumped an entire batch of chemicals into the water tanks? on the sprayer trailer, diluting it down to a five parts water to one part chemical. Pro tip, you should always put your seatbelt on and your equipment. You should also not text and drive or film and drive, but you wanna put that bad boy on because you never know. There's not a whole lot in front of you to stop you. You know, if like a, a wheel hub motor or something decided to explode and seize up, you probably wouldn't enjoy that ride too much. Even if you're doing 10 miles an hour, I mean, that steering wheel's not very far away from you, and neither is that window. Spare's definitely one of the more fun pieces of equipment to run. We got a dip right here. We better get through without smacking our booms on the ground. This thing's fun because you fly. I can do 16 miles an hour on good flat. I can go faster, but my tips are limiting me because they're a small, small hole. If they had a bigger hole, I could go faster, but I build up too much pressure and then it actually starts coming out around the fittings. And that's when you start breaking stuff. But this is spring. You just go back and forth, put a nice mist across the field. We are putting 15 gallons an acre on right now. I regulate that all through this monitor. I have my rate set for 15 gallons an acre. And then this is also running my auto steer. So I'm following that red line straight across the field. It says my speed up there, how many acres I've got done. I can also see my productivity stuff. So I've been averaging 121.4 acres an hour. Those little things that are on the front of the boom, there's three of them. One in the middle, that one's gone. And then one down at the end. That's supposed to automatically do the height control. Those things stopped working years ago. So we took out the box. Now you just gotta do it by hand. So this left stick here controls the left side of my boom. So it's way up in the air right now. We'll lower it down. And then the right one controls the right stick. That button there turns my main pump on. This lifts the whole boom up on those cylinders. And then I have my pumps and stuff on over here. These are my section controls. This is my throttle. That's my brake. Nate and I, we found the problem. Now we're gonna try to figure out how to get the hose out of there. We won't be able to get the parts tonight because, well, it's probably 7.30. It's actually 8.30. Well, let's see if we can get things apart. At least then we have it off for the morning. Hey, I was wondering, would this side come off if we take that bolt, that bolt, these out, would this panel come out of our way? I don't know if the back side spins or not. Oh, uh, it might be able to reach your hand. There probably maybe a nut on that one. It might be uh, weld busted or something. I don't know, we took the line off of this thing, power steering line, kind of a <clears throat> pain in the butt to get to. We cleaned it all up, we don't know, we were questioning ourselves. we put it back on and now it's not leaking. We're gonna leave it apart tonight, check it out quick in the morning. Nate will be running it and if it, I guess it'll just peek out a few times, but hopefully it's okay to go. In other words, it's time to get this seed tender figured out. This bottom one, it needs to go on the other side of that idler pulley. This one? Yep. Alright, 11.30. On our last pass here of this field. This field is mile long rows. Look at that. Just keep scrolling. Mile long rows, you can get a lot done here. Um, we would have been done about over two hours ago, but Natalie let me hit a telephone pole. Just finishing up, like I said. Uh, I'm hoping to get an early start in the morning. Plant a 30 acre field to empty these tanks out. I can't see them right now because it's over my lights. I have lights on my uh, my uh, tanks so I can see how full I am because we don't have scales. So if you're wondering, that's what it looks like behind with my light bars on. I don't know, I realized earlier that you could shut this one off and it's darker, but I kind of like it. I'm a lights guy, so I like to be bright. But yeah, yeah. 
that's the planter for ya. We got a mess in here. We had Mexican food tonight. It was good. We still got August in here. He's down here sleeping. We had an okay day. We got a hundred and, well, no, we got 200. What's 90 plus 140? 230? 230. 230 acres done today. So, not terrible for having that crack and I know dad didn't get anything done because they're fighting the seed tender. I hope, I hope, I hope I switch the corn tomorrow so we can get moving on that because we don't have any corn in the ground at all. But I think if we'll finish spring tomorrow, then we can start tag teaming the planter and just run it 24 seven until we're done with corn. Oh, right here. Oh, we did it. Finally. Finally. It is time to call it a night. So we're gonna wrap things up here, put our blocks in, shut everything off here, push our PTO off. We're gonna fold up and just get out. Come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow.